Hello, welcome to this video on the cross product. It's a series of videos. This is the first in the video where we introduce the concept of, of what a cross product is and how to calculate it. Um, in the subsequent videos, we'll look at applications of the cross product. Let's just jump right into it. So we had the dot product before. Now we're looking at the cross product. Basically, the idea is exactly this. The cross product of two vectors is a vector that is orthogonal to both the original vectors. Okay, so vector, two vectors come in and a vector comes out. Now with a dot product, two vectors come in and a number comes out. Now the formula for the cross product itself is a bit cumbersome. If I have a vector u and a vector v, the actual result of the cross product between these two vectors is what's in front of you there, that formula. I won't even, I won't even verbalize it. We need a, a way to calculate this that will not require the memorization of those, of those uh, different components. And so instead, what we're going to do is employ a tool of linear algebra called the determinant. Okay. Um, and so this uh, cross product concept will only apply when you have vectors that are three dimensional. Okay. So uh, if you have two vectors that are two dimensional, you could throw a zero in the third component of it for sure. Um, but th th what we're talking about here is going to be geared for vectors with three dimensions. Okay. Now nah, we're not going to memorize this. All right. What we're going to do is use a tool to help us out. That tool is the determinant. And cofactor expansion and we'll do a shortcut to it. Okay. So determinant is going to be a calculation made from a matrix. A matrix is an array of numbers. When that matrix is square, meaning the same number of rows and columns, there's a calculation that you can do based on the entries inside. And when you're um, two by two that means two rows and two columns you have four different entries the formula is calculated by going down the forward facing diagonal and multiplying going down the backwards facing diagonal and multiplying subtracting those results pretty straightforward ad minus bz so if you're Filled with numbers one, two, three, and four, it'll be four minus six. Okay, nothing wrong with this thing being negative. Okay, how about negative six, two, nine, uh, negative nine, three? You'll have a negative 18, but you have to subtract a negative 18. You end up with zero. Something very special happens when your determinant is equal to zero in terms of what's going on with that matrix. But this is just going to be a calculation to help us get bridge the gap and get to cross product. Finally, if you have any zeros in there, it'll make the calculation easier. This determinant is a three. All right, great. So how does this relate to the cross product? Well, that's for two by two. If you step up your game and go to three by three, then um, the it won't be so straightforward. You could do a three by three determinant by actually breaking it down to being three two by two determinants. What you're doing is called cofactor expansion. You actually can use any row or any column, but most what most often done is that you use the first row to expand upon. So what you do is you take the entry in the first row and multiply um, by the determinant that you get by crossing out that particular row and column. It'll be a two by two determinant at that point. Okay. Then you move to the second entry in the first row and you do it again. But in the second entry though, the, 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 the entry that's in that row must be multiplied by a negative one. And then you move on to the third. All right. And so we have our three by three array of numbers called a matrix and we're going to calculate the determinant of that matrix using this cofactor expansion idea. Row number one is we're going to expand about it. We take the entry, we multiply that entry by the two by two matrix that we get 
when we cross out the row and the column. Cross out the first row, cross out the first column, you're down to a two by two matrix, nine, four, three, one. Then we move on to the second entry in the first row and we repeat that process. Take that entry, cross out the row, cross out the column, the, the two by two matrix, they aren't together. It's a negative one, a four, then a negative five and a one, but together they make a two by two matrix. So we want the determinant of that two by two matrix. And we're on the second entry. We have to employ a negative one. I should have changed the color to make it stand out. Move to the third entry, cross out the row, cross out the column, two by two matrix there. All right, so with this particular, um, calculation you'll get um, 138 and that's the way we're going to end up bringing in the idea of, of the cross product by doing this there's a shortcut to this though instead of doing this cofactor expansion way we can make a three by three determinant much like how we make our two by two determinant okay we'll call it a three by three shortcut um, here's a matrix full of different numbers and what we're going to do is copy down the first column and the second column. Write them over to the right. And now we're going to have three forward facing diagonals. We'll take the products along those diagonals. And then add them up. The sum of the forward diagonal products will be a negative two, a 72 and a 30. No, no, negative 30. Sorry. Then we come back with the backward facing diagonals. And multiply those products. This time we'll get a, a 36, a 15, and an 8. We take these two sums and subtract the one from the other. This answer ends up being a negative 19. All right, let's get to the cross product. So we'll have a vector u and a vector v. Those vectors will have three components. We'll call the components by subscripts, one, two, and three. Now we make a matrix out of this, but that's only two of the rows. The first row is a, it has vectors in it. So it's kind of strange to mix objects like this, but the row number one has vectors in it. Our standard basis vectors, i, j, and k. Just use the symbols. Okay, and we'll cofactor expand about the first row. We'll take I and multiply it by the two by two matrix with the U2 and U3 and V2 and V3. We'll take J and multiply it by the two by two matrix with the U1 and U3 and V1 and V3. But don't forget the negative one that goes along with the second component. Finally, we'll take K, cross out the row and column and multiply it by the two by two determinant u1 and u2 and v1 and v2 and that will give you your formula u2 v3 minus v2 u3 and so on that's the ijk version of it watch out for that negative in that second component here's the v brace version of it that we had on the very first slide we could also do it with um, an application here. Let's check it out. Here's an example. So we have uh, these two vectors, one negative two, one, three, one, negative two. And we're going to find the, the cross product. It's a vector who is orthogonal to both of those vectors. Let's check it out and make sure. So take the vector that's on the left, put it as row number two. Take the vector that's on the right and put it as row number three. For row number one, you're going to fill it up with i, j, and k. Cross out the I, um, the first row in the first column, you're left with a two by two matrix. That's your I component, the determinant of that matrix. Cross out the second column in the first row and you have a two by two determinant there. That's gonna be your J component, but with a negative one on it. Cross out the first row in the third column. You have a two by two matrix there. The determinant of that matrix will be your third component. Okay, so we have a four minus a one. That's our I component. A negative two minus a three. That's our J component, but times negative one. 
and then a 1 plus a 6, a 7, will be our k component. The cross product is 3, 5, 7. It's the vector who was orthogonal to both of those vectors. All right. And we're going to check it on the next slide. Um, I won't go through it, but here it is quickly. Um, the shortcut is copy down column 1, column 2, multiply along forward-facing diagonals, subtract what you get by multiplying along backward-facing diagonals. And you'll have the same 3, 4, three 5, 7. Check it for yourself. I don't want this video to get too long. So I, but um, if you prefer that method, then look at it and pause it and work it out. Um, let's just verify that this vector that we get out is orthogonal to both the other vectors. How do you check to see whether a vector is orthogonal to another vector? The dot product. The dot product should be equal to zero when two vectors are orthogonal. And so our vector 3, 5, 7, which is the cross product, we dot it with the, the u vector, 1, negative 2, 1. 3, negative 10, and 7. Hey, it ends up as zero. Great. At the same time, though, we need to dot it with the other vector, which was v, 3, 1, negative 2. We get a 9, a 5, and a negative 14, also 0. Okay, great. In the next video, we'll look at some applications. This video was just introduction. I just wanted you to get an idea of how to calculate it and, and uh, maybe a shortcut to calculating it. Now we need to know, what are we going to do with this thing? Why do we care about a vector who is orthogonal to two vectors? We'll find out that it actually is going to be very important. All right, thank you for watching this video. My name is Nakai Rimmer. I'm here to guide you through this multivariable calculus journey. Um, please comment down below or like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.